my hair looks crazy because it's wet, but that's besides the point. Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're changing it up a little bit because I decided to remake a clothing item that I've been wanting for a really long time. I'm actually wearing it right now. <laughs> okay, so long story short, I have been wanting this terry cloth resort set for the longest time. It is made of like terry cloth, basically towel material. It's kind of like something that you would wear getting ready or going to the beach or as like a cover up at the pool or something like that. But it is very, very expensive and I wasn't about to pay over $300 for something I'm gonna wear three months out of the year during the summer. You know what I mean? Like that was just way too much money for me to be spending. And the design honestly is pretty simple and I was like, wow, I can honestly make this myself. Now I am not great at sewing, honestly. I do have a sewing machine that I got in like the sixth grade, I used to want to be like a fashion designer, but um, I do know like basic stuff. So I was like, I can, I can do this myself, right? I can, right? So I went on joannefabrics.com and I got the fabric, which I got four yards of, which was I think $30. Um, and I actually still have more fabric. I can probably make another pair of shorts. Um, and I got elastic. And I got a few patterns just to have as basic patterns because I don't have any patterns and that's it. So today's video is me showing you guys how I made this. So here is the picture of what I recreated. I made the shorts and the shirt as well as since I had extra fabric, I made the skirt as well. Um, their skirt is like a wrap skirt but i didn't have like the little buttons that they had and this was just made out of extra fabric so i just made a skirt with this and i also have more fabric to make another pair of shorts but i don't have enough elastic right now so i'm gonna have to get elastic this is the price of what i would have had to pay if i bought all of this stuff from the website and this is how much i paid for everything the patterns which i can totally reuse all the fabric the elastic everything Which one would you choose? <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this. The only really main difference about the top is that there is supposed to be like another um, collar right here, but I didn't know how to do that. So I was just like, we're gonna stick with one collar. So I filmed all of this and it's kind of gonna be like a tutorial. It's not gonna be super in depth, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave links to how to do everything in the description box in very detailed order and also I'm going to link everything down below so if you actually want to do this um, check out the description box I'll show I'll probably put links to like actually how to like sew this type of stuff because I filmed it but I didn't really like get into too much detail so but I'm going to link the patterns I used and everything in the description box okay let's get started okay so i'm starting off with the shorts i actually had a pants pattern that's why it's really long but i doubled my fabric and just you know cut out the pattern shape it's kind of hard using this fabric because there's no wrong side so you have to make sure that you're sewing the wrong side to the wrong side and like just make sure that you are keeping on track of that because it's actually really confusing also i hope you notice my singular lime green croc i see um in the background i love that thing okay anyways so again i pinned it and i'm cutting it out also i love the self tanner stain on my floor from the winter when i decided to use self tanner note that's a bad idea i don't recommend it anyways i am going to be sewing both of the crotch seams that is always the first step when you're making shorts this is actually a very easy shorts pattern i'm gonna link a full video down in the description box so you can actually make a pair of shorts for yourself <laughs> but i went ahead and as you can see it's kind of like this curved shape so you place one of them in the other one and you're going to be sewing both of the curves to each other um so i'm going to be pinning that together and making sure 
that it's all good. Literally, it only takes two real, like, stitches, I guess, to make a pair of shorts. So as you can see, I'm gonna be pinning this together and sewing that up. Um, and then after this, I didn't show it, but I did hem the shorts as well before I did anything else just because I took off a lot of fabric so I wanted to make sure that everything was good but as you can see I finished sewing that so now I'm gonna undo it and see that it actually looks like a pair of shorts which is really great they look really ugly but anyways <laughs> so I'm showing that I'm gonna be folding over the waistband a little bit thicker than my actual waistband mine was about one and a half inch um, you can get whatever you want. Um, so I went ahead and made kind of a casing for the waistband and you want to make it a little bit bigger so that your waistband doesn't bunch up on the inside because that's not good. I was listening to so much music while I was doing this and I listened to this really good podcast. It was like a two hour podcast and I don't regret it. It was really good. Anyways, I'm going to put the elastic in the shorts and I went ahead and also sewed it up as well. Also the podcast name is called Pints with Aquinas. I know I'm going off topic but I really recommend it. Matt Fraud, great guy. Okay anyways so I am sewing this together and then I also stretched out the fabric and sewed to secure the waistband in place to make sure it didn't move and yeah that's that's pretty much the shorts. <laughs> This is what they looked like. I think they turned out pretty great. Pretty basic design. So next I'm gonna move on to the shirt. Now I didn't show all of this because it's a little bit more complicated. So I went ahead and sewed both of the sides and where the shoulders meet. I already went ahead and sewed those. And then I also went ahead and hemmed the bottom because the hem is a rounded hem. So I had to use my iron to make sure it was nice and flat. But I'm going ahead and taking the arm pieces and sewing those together and hemming those together to make sure obviously that they're nice. And after those were sewn, I went ahead and took the armhole and placed the sleeve in. And you have to match up both openings. There's like little notches on patterns to make sure that everything is lined up evenly. Um, I didn't have to do any like stretching or anything because they fit pretty evenly. But I actually had to watch a video on how to do this because I was kind of struggling. But it ended up working out. You just sew them together, making sure that, you know, the wrong size with the wrong side. And then it ends up looking like that. It's actually pretty easy. And then obviously you do that on both sides. Um, so my pattern had a really small rounded neck, which is actually perfect because I was able to cut kind of a slit in the top and it ended up folding perfectly to make a like collar. So I didn't really need to do anything crazy, which I really was happy about. Um, and then I actually ended up making this sort of like piping casing on the outside. I didn't show it, but instead of just folding over the hem and sewing it, I took a separate piece of fabric and kind of piped along the edge of the collar to make sure it looked good on both sides. And that's that's it. That's what it looks like. Um, again, actually there's a line down the, the back because I had to save fabric. So this honestly whole video is honestly just to show you that you do not have to spend so much money to get the same look because you can get the same look for less. Honestly, if you're a little bit crafty, and I feel like so many, I actually wouldn't have made this if any other company sold it because I looked everywhere for this type of like towel resort wear stuff. I looked everywhere and nobody had it. So that's why I had to make it myself. But honestly, if you ever see anything online that you really like, but it's way too expensive for you, check other places online, check for dupes, check for things that are similar that give you the same look for less because you don't have to spend so much money to get the same thing, you know? If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and we are really close to 9,000 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe. Also, make sure to check out my Instagram. I love Instagram, it is like, my favorite platform. So if my username is Brooke Armis, it'll be linked down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.